In this episode, I discover a gated breed, learn about their traditions, meet the owners, a judge from Peru, and test out my skills in the first competition of the quest. I traveled to Meadowbrook Farm in Colorado, where the owners Mark and Lee breed Peruvian horses. Come on, girl. <laughs> they had a new addition to introduce me to. She was going to show me the gate called Paso Llano that the Peruvians are known for, but she was a little bit of an overachiever on camera and wanted to show that the breed is also able to canter. So that's one of the things you watch with her. Yeah. Is that oh, you can see she overreaches. Yes. Yeah, big time when yeah. she's walking there. And that's that's what you want in these horses. Okay. Is that overreach? Okay. The more they overreach, typically the smoother the, the horse is. Okay. Then I got a lesson in traditional Peruvian tack. Um. Then they all have this leather piece, which is called the corona. I had seen the pictures, and so I knew they were big, but I didn't realize that they were actually yeah. like one whole block of wood. <laughs> this is hand made. It's a very, very fine wool, like in gore wool. Every one of these threads is hand twisted oh and sewn in here. The horse's action starts up here, like a swimmer's arm. Okay. So you want this absolutely free. Okay. Because, um, you know, when you see the, the terminal, a lot of people say pavin, but it's terminal. That starts up here, and then it just wings its way down to the toe. Okay. Okay. Ooh. How do they feel? They feel uh, very different. <laughs> and then it was time to ride. purpose was so functional and you could feel it. like the saddle when you're talking about going up and down yeah. steep terrain like I felt so like locked in yeah. but yet it didn't restrict the movement because you were still able to just kind of relax along and, and go. Just so it's all very functional. Not far from Meadowbrook Farm, the Denver Queen City Horse Show was having its 50th anniversary. Hello, I'm Luis Pablo Vázquez. I'm from Peru. I'm the third generation about breed horse, Peruvian, Peruvian uh, Paso horses. Uh, my grandfather uh, uh, horse, uh, breed horses is, a, is also a judge. My father, my, my uncle also breed and also a judge. In the, in the farm of my family, at the north of Peru, in Paihang, yeah. we have uh, almost 100 uh, horses. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot! Yeah, it's, 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 a very, it's a very nice horse. Yeah. Uh, the particularity of the Paso Llano is the harmony okay. and the station. With, with that two particularly, the extension and the harmony of, of, the, of the work of the horse make yeah. the, the paso ya no more smooth of the, of the work. Okay. It's important. That was the interesting thing too, to realize that you know, you're know you not looking for the flashy high movement, you're looking for that, that long round It's like covering. a cat. Right. The horses is like a cat. Not, not, not the, the, the hands like this, you know, to ex ex extension. Mm -hmm. With extension, it's like a cat. Awesome. And it's their like body is so built, it's so well built for that with a low tail set yes. and reaching underneath. The, the angles is, is, is important. Yes. With a good angles, help you that have a good piso. No? A good piso, a good extension. Okay. Members of the Centennial State Peruvian Horse Club work together to lend me the outfit, the saddle, a bridle, and even a horse from Meadowbrook Farm, so that I could compete in the champagne class. Ooh. 
No drinking. <laughs> Oh, you are good at that. And your blue ribbon first place victory goes to entry number 121, and that's Flor de las Sierras, entered by Pedro Farm with Alyssa Matthews, doing the exhibiting. Congratulations. I've been, just been told this is her second time on a Peruvian horse that she just won our champagne ride. So congratulations Yay, to you. Alyssa. Once again, our winning entry, Alyssa Matthews with Flor de las Sierras. I've, I've ridden two now, and so, <laughs> not very many, um, but both of them were so smooth and they were just so much fun to ride yes. and that was that was really neat to feel and then also to see the tradition that is involved with these horses and how passionate everyone yes, is. Yes, yes, yes.